Hello and welcome to your new host of Hi How To Video. Today we're going to be looking at the UXG Pro and its IDS and IPS setup. Um, so it's IDS is Intrusion Detection System and IPS is Intrusion Prevention System. So for a little while now, Ubiquiti has been offering this system with the USG, the, US, uh, the UDM and then also the brand new UXG Pro. Uh, we've already covered how to set up a UXG Pro, um, we'll link that guide in the description. Um, but in this guide we're going to go over how to enable the IDS and IPS in Unify and all the other options that we've got listed here. So first thing to do is log into Unify controller where your um, UXG Pro is adopted to and then what you need to do is go to settings and then go to firewall and security and then you have the options here for firewall and security in all the IDS and IPS settings. So as, as I said Ubiquiti have, have listed it as threat management um, and the IDS and IPS Labels have gone, but you have three issues, you have three um, options here. You've got off, detect only, and detect and block. So detect only will be IDS, so that's uh, intrusion detection, and then IPS would be detect and block. Ubiquiti Pro is one of the most powerful devices that Ubiquiti makes for this lineup, and you have all the options available to you, all 35 categories. So you have um, all these categories here, which you can allow it to detect and block if you need it to, and then also we have some. Uh, other options, malicious website blocker using a unified real-time database. It says here, prevent clients with IP addresses known to be malicious from accessing your networks. And you have a dark web blocker as well, so that will prevent traffic encrypted by Tor from moving through your networks. So you can also get notifications of when certain things have been detected by the UXG Pro in the traffic, in traffic inspector. Um, and we also have a country restriction, which we'll cover in a separate video. But threat management can be enabled by going to settings, firewall, and then this section here and you can have as many categories as you want. It does say that this will reduce the maximum throughput speeds. The UXG Pro should do about 3.5 gigabits per second even with everything enabled um, and that's to the internet. So then we've also got this uh, honeypot that we'll cover in a separate video as well. If you do find that the UXG Pro is picking up um, a lot of alerts for something you use day to day you can put it in the signature suppression it can even create a new allow list as well um, for threat management. So if it's again, if it is detecting something that it doesn't need to be, you can put it in the allow list. Find the written version of this guide on our support site at support.hostify.com. The link for this one will be in the description below. Thank you for watching this Hostify video. My name's Alex.